How's it going, people? Well, I just got this in the mail from my good friends at the uh, Scientology group. I thought I'd try something a little different for a video. So I haven't done this because it takes a little preparing. But since Scientology disappointed me, I figured at least uh, I can make something that never does. A nice dry martini. Uh, a little more. Okay, let's start off with a little uh, extra dry vermouth. And yeah, that's about good. And a uh, little extra dry, dry gin. One, two, and a half. A little more than half. All right. Let's do a James Bond style. Shaken, not stirred. I think that's pretty good. This has been chilled. Alright. I forgot to grab my olives so well. We'll do without. <laughs> uh, it's too bad. I had some olives prepared, but they're in the other room and I'm not going for them. Oh, yeah. So, let's see what they have sent me. It's sure to disappoint. They haven't been nearly as much fun these days. But, this came in the mail today, so I'm a little more on the ball than usual. I'll have to mail this back to them, since they were kind enough to pay for the postage. All right. Dear Richard, what did you find out about in the problems of work? I don't really have any problems of work. I mean, I'm doing just fine. I'm in the black because uh, I don't have parasites that, like these people hanging off of me. Um, and I kind of like my job. Um, I thought it was impactful, and I often reflect upon it at my job when I have a lot of a lot of tasks at MCE <laughs> a lot one word <laughs> uh, there are short courses you can take here at the mission come down and see what we have because the buildings practically empty <laughs> day long, I know. It's funny because uh, at my work we were uh, negotiating a new contract and so our union had all these people marching past where I work and right next door is the Scientology uh, Ideal Org and we go right past their front door and they all look like, oh shit! It's <laughs> used to people being pissed off at them. Alright, all the best. Um, Kate, I think it is. Uh, course admin. As you can see, it's all in cursive. So, not sure. All right. Problems of work. As I said, I don't really have any. You can't fix stupid, so I mean, you just have to work around impossible people and win them over. Uh, work your life so it works for you. Books, audiobooks by L. Ron Hubbard. Author of the number one New York Times bestseller, Dianetics, because those Scientologists keep going out there and buying the book over and over again. <laughs> I've read it, wasn't impressed. Ah. 
Life is composed of seven tenths work, one tenth familial, one tenth political, and one tenth relaxation. Welcome, to my one tenth. Hmm. Here, then, is Scientology applied to that crucial seven tenths of existence. I think that takes care of itself, you know. I work, I get paid, and then next thing I know it's the weekend again. No big deal, you know. I've got an IRA, I have a pension, um, hopefully some Social Security. Still trying to buy a house, but that hasn't been working out very well. I'll have to tell you folks about that later. Um, the problems of work contains the senior principles and laws which apply to every endeavor. Every problem of work, for they are the discoveries which lay bare the core of these problems that explain the very fabric of life itself. The breakthrough details here include the anatomy of confusion and its cure, the doctrine of the stable datum, the most fundamental law of work and living, the anatomy of control, and how to turn bad control to good. I think I know this already. I'm doing fine. Uh, the anatomy of life as a game. Hmm. And the rules by which it is played. The secret of, of efficiency. The most fundamental elements of life. Affinity, reality, and communication and the rock-bottom cause of exhaustion, like being tired, um, with the powerful Scientology process that returned the energy of youth. Is that like taking a walk after work? <laughs> I do that already. A lot of people do. And they don't have to pay you guys to tell them to do that. Um, <clears throat> here, then, is not only the technology to bring stability to the workplace, but the magic process to return joy itself to all of life, for this is Scientology. The Problems of Work, 208 pages, available in hardback, paperback, or audiobook format, three CDs. Probably got music with it, too. Unfortunately, it's written by Scientologists. Uh, Chick Corea is badass, though, i got to say so. Maybe he wrote some of it. Um, a workman is not just a workman. A laborer is not just a laborer. An office worker is not just an office worker. Okay, I see where you're going. You're just going to say one thing is not just, just what it is. Uh, because everything's more than it is. Okay. They are living, breathing, important pillars on which the entire structure of our civilization is erected. Sounds like Ayn Rand and Atlas Shrugged. L. Ron Hubbard. And um, order information. I'll save some of that for you. Anyway, that was a little better, I guess. Um, let me know if this changed your life. Maybe you'll go get clear now. Anyway, I'm going to go do some uh, Jehovah Witnesses and find where I put my olives. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Bye.